Uh, you do not have to feel guilty for chowing down on that big bowl of pasta because it's National Pasta Month. And Bravo Chef Maynard Hernandez uh, is here to tell us all about uh, what he's making here and about uh, National Pasta Month. You know, some people, uh, Chef, uh, believe that uh, pasta is one of the major food groups. Yeah. That you should eat it as often as possible. I, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially when it's getting cold like today. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Kind of it's, comfort it's food. It's today. comfort food, exactly. Yeah. yeah. yeah and uh, today we are making our shrimp and clam pasta. Oh. It's a nice and uh, light spice sauce. Yeah. It has some clams, some shrimp. One of the biggest things that we're doing as a company right now, uh, we are utilizing fresh pasta. Uh, yeah. Fresh made pasta. Yeah, you told us you're not serving it out of the box anymore. No. You're always getting the fresh pasta. The fresh yeah. pasta. What, what's the difference? Yeah. Well, you know, this is uh, the flavor is better. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the sauces really suck into the pasta. Uh, and, and it's, you know, the fresh, it's, it's like the trend right now. You know, no sure. one really is using any dry pasta anymore. So okay. we are keeping up with, with the demand. Yeah, uh, but, you know, pasta in and of itself, is, it, 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 it doesn't have a real pungent or, tan, uh, or a real a strong flavor. Right. Neither does shrimp. So the, 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 what you do to spice it up is going to make all the difference in yeah. the world, right? And uh, this one, what we're doing is a little, adding a little bit of the garlic, mm. uh, oh. some, ba <laughs> some bacon. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bacon, a little bit of a... Uh, Chili flakes just to spice it up a little bit. Okay. All right. And then uh, one of the things that we do, we uh, deglaze these with some white wine and add some uh, clam juice as well to oh, give it okay. that. I don't know if you ever heard that the term fruta de mar. Yes. No. It's, that's basically what we're doing with this pasta, you know, with the shrimp, with the clams. Means of uh, the sea, right? Means of the sea. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Fruit of the sea. Yeah. Exactly. Very nice. Yeah. So You've got some good specials for National Pasta Month right. at Bravo, too. Yes. Tell us about that. We are uh, we are offering a $49 a pen of pasta to feed up to eight people. That's a, that's a great wow. bargain. Yeah. So You just get that at the table and serve it up family style? Or? No, that, that's no? a to-go. Uh, okay. For okay. a to-go. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, but again, we know we have a great specials as well. So, uh, well yeah, what did you just put in? There. Right now, I just put a little <laughs> bit of a pomodoro sauce and pomodoro. some, yeah, and a spicy marinara. <laughs> spicy marinara, yeah, and, and then, the clams. He added and the, the clams, clams, of course. While we were talking, a little to bit you. of salt and pepper in here, you know, just to get the the flavor going, and some herb butter just to bring it all uh, bring it all together. Uh, Man's you know? killing me. He's killing yeah. me over here. Yeah, so, but it smells great. I cannot tell you if you made this at home. Uh, uh, it would just absolutely make your kitchen just smell wonderful. Yeah, definitely. And the, the key, the key uh, is like cooking of the garlic. Okay. You gotta make sure that we let the garlic develop the flavor, sure. uh, uh, as well as the uh, the pepper flakes. You know, get the oil out. You know, get the flavor. Infuse the sauces. Mm. Yeah. Know, so. So now I, you know, I usually use boxed pasta at home because yeah. it just keeps longer. It's easier mm -hmm. to yeah. keep around. How? What's the best way to cook boxed pasta and know that it's done and knows and know that it's going to taste the best? Well, to make it al dente, every every pasta box has how long you should cook it yeah. for. Yeah, you should follow you, the directions. Well, not necessarily. Okay. Depends. It depends on how you like it. Mm -hmm. You know, you can pick it up and you know take a little bite until you like it. One of the key thing is like a lot of people like to add a lot of oil to the cooked pasta. Yeah. I don't think it's a really good thing because uh. what's going to happen is that we toss so much oil on the dry pasta, mm -hmm. when we make a sauce, all the sauce is not going to stick to the pasta, it's just uh. going to slice, slide off the okay. pasta. So right. there's your big cooking you know. tip today. Here's how you solve that. You go to Bravo and let him cook for you. Yeah. There you go. Right, yeah. There you go. So, <laughs> or we have this recipe at local12.com yep, if there you want to try. All right. Uh, Chef, thank you so much for coming and cooking for Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. I, I have to try this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. We'll be right back. <laughs> yes, we will. I can't. I'm just.